Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Transition Center of Woodridge's Back to School Night. I'm Robert Mortarano, principal here at the Transition Center. The new year has brought some new friends to the Transition Center. We have welcomed the class from our new Bridges program to become part of our school building. This has allowed them to benefit from all the wonderful community-based instruction our program has to offer. This September has also brought significant changes to our school building. All hallway floors have been replaced, along with new ceilings, updated lighting throughout the building, and the walls have all been given a fresh coat of paint. We are extremely excited about two new additions to our program. The first is our new makerspace room, where students will have the opportunity to bring imaginative ideas to life with our new 3D printers, as well as our new host of robotics. Secondly, we are welcoming our students into our new Zen Den. Here, students will have the opportunity to use our new calming environment to learn about mindfulness and relaxation. Following this presentation, you'll be hearing from your child's teacher. They're going to provide you with an overview of what will take place during the school year. Over the next couple of weeks, you will be receiving scheduling updates from your child's teacher. Our staff is working diligently to finalize new internship sites, as well as new community-based instruction opportunities. Our goal has always been, and will continue to be, to utilize the community as an extension of our classroom. Please keep in mind that they will not be speaking about individual student performance. If you have specific questions regarding your child, please reach out to the teacher or therapist to set up a time to discuss any of your questions. I wanna thank you all for your continued support throughout this year. Please do not hesitate to reach out to any of us with any questions. I would now like to turn it over to our school psychologist, Kate Dobb. Thanks, Rob. Hi, all. We are so pleased to welcome you back to a new school year at the Transition Center. We're excited to see everyone in the building and welcome some new faces to our school. While your student's classroom teacher will give an overview of the school year, I wanted to touch on a few important points before we hand off. First and foremost, I must stress that you regularly check your emails from the school. I will communicate mainly through this format, particularly for disseminating information to families. I often share workshops from our CAPE Resource Center that are immensely helpful to parents in the transition process and in learning about the next steps once school is complete. I highly suggest that you attend these workshops. Our new program secretary, Miriam Rodriguez, will also be emailing throughout the year. It is important that you check your email so as not to miss any important information about what is going on at school. If you have any changes to your contact information, please let us know right away so we can update this on our end. As a reminder, any absences must be reported to the school, so please reach out to our secretary and nurse if your child will not be present during the school day. I wanted to touch briefly on our district's policy on HIB, which stands for Harassment, Intimidation, and Bullying. The Transition Center follows the Bergen County Special Services Board of Education policy regarding HIB. Our students take part in a presentation about how to handle bullying episodes and what to do in case they are involved in or witness a harassment situation. If your student mentions an incident to you, please reach out to me so that we can investigate the situation. Our goal at the Transition Center is for all of our students to feel comfortable and safe. Oftentimes, in our, the students in our program might not realize that their words or actions may be making others uncomfortable. As part of our HIB protocol, if a situation is reported to our staff, it is my job as the coordinator to investigate what happened and determine the intentions. If warranted, further investigation and a determination of next steps will be made in accordance with the district policies. I'll be sending home a brief presentation with additional information about our district's HIB policy, so please reach out if you have any questions. As we start the school year, we will also be reviewing and practicing school safety procedures with our students so they can be prepared in the case of an emergency. We complete various drills each month, both in the building and out in the community. We want our students to be prepared no matter the situation. I will continue to send out our monthly newsletter with updates and pictures about what our students are up to. Please also follow our Facebook page for regular updates. As long as parents are attending, we will also continue with the parent-to-parent -parent meetings on Zoom on a bi-monthly basis. If you have a topic you'd like for us to cover during one of these meetings, please let me know. 
If there are any changes to your student's medical needs or medication, please be sure to communicate this information with our school nurse, Karen Fritzman. If you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. We look forward to a wonderful school year. Thank you, Kate. Once again, I wanna thank you all for joining us this evening and please enjoy the presentation by your child's teacher.